Want to help end homelessness in our community? On November 7th, hundreds of people from the D.C. region are going to walk the National Mall to help end homelessness. Jean-Michel is here with us this morning and Jermaine as well to tell us all about Friendship Walks. Welcome, gentlemen, to the show. It's great to have you. Let's start with some people may be familiar with a past walk. The Fannie Mae helped the homeless walk. They're all tied together now, correct? Mm -hmm. They are. Good morning, kid. It's great to be here with you. Uh, the Fannie Mae walk was very inspiring. It used to draw thousands of people to the mall every year uh, in November. And in the last two years, Friendship Place is bringing the walk back to D.C. This is the walk to end homelessness in D.C. and D.C. Metro. And we know we can do it by uh, building systems that are strong enough to end chronic homelessness. And this year, we're taking a special look at all the work done to end veteran homelessness. We're very close to it. We're not, we're, we know we're going to make it. And so we need everybody to come down to the mall on uh, November 7th in front of the uh, Lincoln uh, Memorial. Well, let's talk about this. How do we end homelessness? By building systems that are strong enough, meaning that when the person or the family finds themselves uh, homeless, uh, services activate immediately that are very effective. So we will be looking at shelter stays that are no more than a few weeks, uh, paired up with housing support, uh, employment, job placement in particular, and we do that extremely well at Friendship Place. We put people in jobs in 60 days and we rehouse them in 90 days. And then other services that help uh, people, families rebuild, uh, it can be childcare, car repair. It's about the whole system activating right. at the region's level to make this happen. Jermaine, what makes Friendship Place different from other organizations that serve the homeless in our region? Definitely. I mean, I would say it's our wraparound service approach. I mean, to be quite honest, I mean, we're a one-stop shop. So when you come to us for services and you're a participant in the community and you're in, in need of help, um, we can provide everything in-house for you. So whether that's mental health and addictions counseling, whether that's the employment component, um, housing, um, a, a, a complete array of services we provide in-house, you know, transportation, resume writing. I mean, the list goes on and on. We're able to address every individual's barriers as they come into our, our house for help. Homelessness doesn't have a face. I think people sometimes think in their head they know what it looks like, but it's mm -hmm. all different people from all different makes of life, correct? Definitely. That's really true, and we work to fight the stigma attached to homelessness. We speak a lot. We have a speakers bureau you can call us, and we'll have somebody with life experience come out to talk to you and in your office or wherever you are. Uh, because you really have to put uh, a new face on, on uh, the phenomenon. And that new face is that it looks, it looks a lot like everybody's face out there because there are most people who are homeless you don't see. They are just like us on the metro in coffee shops. They're already rebuilding. And of course, people think of the homeless as the folks they see the most on the street. And maybe these folks need us the most, and that's fine. We're there for them. But homelessness really doesn't have a face, and people need to understand that. Why is employment such a big part of the effort? Employment's huge. I mean, the unemployment rate in D.C. is around 7.5%. Um, so there's literally almost 50,000 people you know, that are unemployed that are in just D.C. alone. And then when you start coupling it with Virginia and Maryland, because mm -hmm. we serve D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, I mean, the, the it's, it's tons of people. Um, so homelessness and employment are directly connected because obviously if an individual is long-term unemployed or going through extensive hardship when it comes to employment, the end cap to that is homelessness, you know, and those who are at risk of homelessness as well. So it's very important for us as an organization and very important for us to teach the community um, about these things and, and kind of make them alert and aware because, you know, strength is in numbers. And obviously, the more people that you can pull together for a certain cause, a certain mission, you know, the better chances you have at decreasing, you know, some of those issues and things of that Making nature. Making a better community for everybody. Exactly. You know? exactly. So let's talk about the walk and getting people out there. What should they do right now if they're watching it? they want to get involved and they want to go to the walk well definitely right now I mean November 7th we're gonna be at the Lincoln Memorial you want to show up it's a Saturday hopefully the weather will be good you know show up around 1030 we're gonna be on the National Mall um, you know shout out to my folks over there 93.9 we're gonna have Easy Street who is actually hey. gonna be hosting this event and DJing it as well 
We're going to all come together. I want all eight wards of D.C. there in representation, Maryland, Virginia, and just come out and have a good time. You know, go to friendshipwalks.org right now. That's friendshipwalks.org. You can go there right now. You can sign up. You can build a team. Um, and just, just get involved. You know, give back to the community. We want to awesome. bring D.C.'s walk back. Yep. And end homelessness, and which end is homelessness. The, the key. Exactly. Well, thank you for the incredible work that you guys are doing at Friendship Place, and thank you for being on Let's Talk Live today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Great you. to have Appreciate you. And we'll have more of Let's Talk Live in just a moment, so stay with us.